Marathon Petroleum has been part of Southwest Detroit since 1959. We're proud to be part of this community. Hi, I'm Nusha Gatsi. I'm a Marathon employee. I spent my career working in refineries, and I'm proud to tell you how my company produces petroleum coke. Over the years, this refinery has had many changes. With every improvement and expansion, Marathon has always understood our responsibility to our community. For example, in 2012, we expanded the refinery. Before we began any construction, we researched the best emissions controls. That is, the best technologies for making our operations as clean as possible. It's these emissions controls that make this a clean operation. These advanced emissions controls are a major reason why the city of Detroit gave us approval to construct the petroleum coke handling unit our emissions controls are so advanced that very few refineries around the world have what we use. I'm a proud Marathon employee, so don't just take my word for it. There are not just one or two emission controls at Marathon's Coker unit. There are way more than most refineries have. Evan Hyde is a petroleum coke handling unit consultant. He makes his living by studying these units and helping companies like Marathon improve their processes and operations. I've personally toured more than 80% of the cokers in the United States. This coker in Detroit is in the top five for cleanliness. As an example, this tank was painted in 2012 when it was built. This coker process is so clean that it's never needed to be repainted. We've always been open and transparent about how we handle petroleum coke. Over the years, we've shown our operations to members of the community and industry experts like Evan Hyde. But since not everybody has an opportunity to spend time at the refinery, we'd like to use this video to show you how we produce and handle fuel-grade petroleum coke. We start with crude oil, which is a mixture of many substances. As we put the crude oil through a number of processes, the lighter parts of the crude oil are captured and moved through different units, where they become gasoline, diesel, jet fuel, and many other products that we all use every day. That leaves the heaviest part of the crude oil at the bottom. We call this material resid, which is short for residual. Some of this material is sold to asphalt companies as is to make roads. The rest is processed in our coker unit. The resid still contains ingredients to make fuels. The ingredients rise up through this column. They're transported to other units where they're made into gasoline, jet fuel, and diesel, and many other products that we all use every day. What's left of the heavy resid is heated and flows into these coke drums. When it hardens in these drums, it becomes fuel-grade petroleum coke. Inside each coke drum, there's a water jet. It works something like a pressure washer and cuts the product into smaller pieces. The smaller pieces fall out of the bottom of the drums into a pit with walls around it. The walls are 30 feet high. An intense water curtain washes the product as it falls out of the coke drums into the pit. The water curtain showers and drenches the product. This intense water curtain is the first of our emissions controls. It actually sprays water continuously on the coke and keeps it dust free. This is very unique. It's something I don't often see in other refineries. It's evidence of the next step of what Marathon's doing to try to keep this unit as clean as possible. The pit is full of water, as much water as two Olympic swimming pools. This is another emissions control. The product is now sopping wet, sitting in a pit of water. An overhead crane operator moves it from the pit to what we call a dewatering pad. Remember, all of this happens below the tops of the walls. Some of the water is allowed to drain out, and the product is allowed to cool so that it can move on to the next step in the process. The product never dries out. We test it every day to make sure that it stays at a certain level of moisture. We use a sprinkler system to spray it down and keep it at that moisture level so it won't dry out. That's another emissions control. Once the excess water has drained out to the right moisture level, a crane operator loads it into the top of a hopper. 
From this point on, the product is always completely closed in. And at every step in the process where the product is moved from one place to another, there are a number of air filtration systems. From the hopper, the product travels on a conveyor to this crusher building. The entire conveyor system is completely enclosed. The crusher building is completely closed in too. Here, the product is crushed into even smaller pieces. From the crusher building, the product travels to the truck loadout building on another conveyor that's completely closed in. See these conveyors? They're fully enclosed, which is extremely rare. Normally, they're open on the bottom. Trucks park inside the truck loadout building. The product is put into these trucks. There's another emissions control here, a high-efficiency ventilation and filtration system. This system captures anything in the air that may have been created when the product was crushed and loaded. This high-efficiency ventilation and filtration system not only keeps our community clean, but also protects our employees and the truck drivers from breathing in anything but normal air. To be sure that the product still has enough moisture in it, we take samples as it goes into the trucks. This is another emissions control so that we can be absolutely sure that there's enough water in it to keep anything from escaping into the air. Once a truck is filled, the truck is completely covered. This is another emissions control. And there's another emissions control before the trucks leave the truck loadout building. A high pressure water system washes the truck's tires. The Marathon unit is one of the newest units in the U.S. It's very clean, it's very modern, it has a lot of efficiencies that many units don't have. The water curtain, the fully enclosed conveyor system, the operator training, it all works together to be one of the cleanest units I've ever been to. We hope this tour featuring our emissions controls has been helpful. Thank you for taking the time to learn how we handle our product and operate our unit.